So Taoiseach, if ever there was a salutary tale and lesson of yeah. Fianna Fáil in government, Fianna Fáil, the party of the Galway tent and brown envelopes and a, a cosy relationship with developers, it is O'Devney Gardens. Look no further. Yeah, the reason why this has dragged on and on is because your buddies who had a public-private partnership arrangement with the state at the time went bust yeah. and let the entire community down. I could go on and on, Kian Corla. I don't have the scope to recount the corruption, the corrupted nature of your relationship with the people that I refer to. And your plan fails again because you are so myopic and limited in your view. And I have put it to you that the funds that you now mollycoddle and afford sweetheart deals to are now coming back to bite at you. Bartra has said, Taoiseach, unless the state steps in and buys back homes at inflated prices, they're going to offload them to cuckoo funds, who in turn will let out these homes and skin people for extortionate rents. And I would like to know, Taoiseach, what you propose to do as head of government about that. Do you believe that the state ought to buy these 500 homes? And furthermore, do you believe that the sweetheart tax arrangements with these funds should continue? Because that's your policy in the here and now. And it's your policy that's causing so much hardship to an entire generation of people that you have locked out of home ownership and who endure extortionate rents. That's on your your watch, Taoiseach. Thank you. Those, yeah, my yeah, friend, yeah, are the yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah. Taoiseach, you used the word corrupt there. Yes. You were the last party to talk to anybody about corruption. Because your party corrupted public life in this republic for well on 40 years. To a far greater degree than any other party in this country. You corrupted the moral code of our country and our society by the murder and mayhem that you perpetrated and that you still endorse, Deputy. You still endorse it. You still support the, the narrative of murder and mayhem and so forth. And you also support... Quiet, please, Deputy. You also support the undermining of women... Pathetic. ..who were raped by IRA volunteers you and your party covered it up. So do not, do not come into this house and lead with your chin telling everybody else or telling this party that we were corrupt. We had faults and flaws, no doubt about it, but we faced up to it. We never ever attempt, as you do consistently, you consistently try and rewrite the narrative and bury the truths about the, the level of corruption that your party engaged in down through years. Now, to come to the housing issue, what you're good at, you're good at rewriting narratives of spinning but this is about, in terms of Dublin City Council, up, Taoiseach, we've allowed please. City Councils to engage with partners to get housing developed, to get mixed Bartra? tenure, to get private, affordable and social What's houses built. What's your response built. to Bartra? Please. We are doing that. You don't have one. And, 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 and in addition to that, we have provided, and you don't like the truth, you, you, you've no answer. four billion, four billion we are going to provide year by up, year. Please. And I think you need to start answering some questions now. Thank you. So how are you going to double, how are you really going to double housing output? You keep saying things, they're just sort of slogans that you articulate from time to time, but there's no meat behind it, no flesh on the bone, no reality behind what you do. You can wave all you like, Deputy, but it doesn't hide the truth. Look at, can we just restore some order, please? Please.